Tiffany Hood right now may be losing her job. The AKA super mayor with a salary of almost $400,000, nearly twice the amount of other city officials may be kicked out right now because Dalton trustees appoint a new mayor for a short term period just to get some of the business done. Because apparently she's not even showing up to the board meetings right now because she's so unpopular or she's just lazy. Who knows? But Mayor Hinyer's lack of attendance at the village meetings is shocking. Now, during a special meeting in Dalton Monday night, trustees choose someone else to conduct official business when the mayor is not present, which, by the way, the mayor is like never present. So they appointed Jason House. And right now, they have a lot of cases where businesses cannot go forward and where many licenses are not being sent out, where a lot of stuff is not being done. Dalton trustees are opposed to Henyard, and Henyard has missed 25 of the special meetings. Talk about lazy, right? And it refuses to allow some business to be put on the agenda for the village's regular meetings. Now, Dalton County is just sick and tired of her. They're done with her. Okay, Henyard is literally the person that made the whole entire village go bankrupt. It's a little city of 20,000 people, okay? And budgeting, everything is already set in stone. There really isn't much political action or spiciness for a small town like this. So generally when new mayors go into these smaller cities, it's about the same old routine every day. But because Henry is spending all their money on lavish trips and lavish dinners in Las Vegas, well, um, Dalton County is going broke. Let's just say it like that. Worst mayor in America is striking back and accusations of corruption. Which, by the way, there's a lot of corruption. Many people also talk about the FBI raid. They also talk about how business licenses were taken away because people weren't willing to pay the Queen's ransom. A lot of people do not want to pay her $3,500 in political contributions. And if you don't, you got guys like Lawrence Gardner getting their trucking business licenses taken away. And Mayor Tiffany Henyard is named in latest FBI subpoena. There is new subpoenas coming out, and in fact, a third subpoena in the last 12 days have been served on the village of Dalton. Now, the first is to specifically name Tiffany Henyard, telling Henyard and all the other people underneath her in her administration to start sending out credit card expenditures, all payments, taxes, and basically, what in the world are you doing with all this money? Because it's getting so bad that you know some of like the police cars are gonna be like repossessed. And it's getting really bad given the fact that the FBI has been demanding this for quite some time. And if she doesn't get out these documents, they may try to get these documents by force. Now, many people kind of hate you know, Tiffany Henry right now. Even one of the people out there is saying Tiffany Henry may be going to jail. I think a lot of businesses right now in Dalton are absolutely suffering. Many businesses are not getting their licenses. You got you know, barbershops, they can't expand because they won't get a license. Trucking businesses, they can't get a license. Restaurants are also suffering. You're also seeing the whole entire village itself being uninsurable. This is a really, really bad thing happening to the village of Dalton. And then lastly, you got America's worst mayor. Of course, it's Henry. Under investigation, all the same old stuff, but the feds are probing her office, her restaurants, and property managed group. Now, Tiffany Henry says that nothing is wrong, and she even vetoed a plan to get Lori Lightfoot, the former mayor of Chicago, to come in at $400 an hour and investigate the finances. If she's fully innocent, if nothing is wrong with Henry, then she'll gladly welcome these investigations and put all the rumors and whispers to silent. At the end of the day, I think Henyard is definitely not getting a second term. She is definitely not getting mayor. And the biggest headache right now is she is on the FBI's list, the Fed's list. And the chances of her coming back from this is very, very little. Dalton trustees are done with her, right? They elected someone else to do all the work. When you miss 25 meetings, especially special meetings that are tailored towards the business side of Dalton, then what in the world are you doing? Why are you getting paid over $350,000 a year? That is from the taxpayer's money. There is so many corruptions happening. You got some cops getting paid 13 grand in two weeks. Just think about that. And nobody is happy about this. They literally had to get another mayor short term just to do some of the critical work, just to keep this village and this little town functioning again. Right now, Henry has spent so much money on lawsuits, trips, and corruption and police detail, the village is now broke. In fact, some people even say they're under the hook for five whopping million dollars. Can the village of Dolan get themselves out of this mess? We don't really know.